<laughs> I do have my own original single coming out. What your teeth like? I'm the dentist man. So the singing dentist started as a bit of an accident. I was in the surgery one day and I just did a freestyle. At the end of the day, I have a background in music, so I used to MC and produce music and I was involved in the UK garage scene. And um, I just did a freestyle and sent it to a friend of mine who's also a dentist. He thought it was really funny and he posted it online and the rest just grew from there. It was to Drake Hotline Bling. Okay. And um, it was about endo, which is root canal. And it went, I should have never done that endo. And he carried on because as dentists, we don't really enjoy root canal much sometimes. And um, so yeah, it was all about a root canal that went wrong. One. Me all the time, every single one, except actually what? Well, su the suggestions have sometimes come from my wife. She's very good. So Shape of You, for example, Ed Sheeran's one, she came up with Save Your Tooth and then I wrote all the lyrics. Um, Despacito, she said, why don't you call it Take a Cito? And I'm like, ooh, that's a good one. So then, but then I wrote the lyrics. Um, but the rest of them, yes, all, all me. So Return of the Plaque is one of my favorites. That, that one was genius songwriting that day. I was inspired. Yes, I do get requests now from the patients. They come in and they're like, oi, sing that. I like your molars song. So yes, I do get that now. And the eyebrows, they always want a bit of eyebrow action. Because also I'm wearing a mask most of the time, so this is all they see. So I have to sell it to them, you know, this is, yes. <sighs> that is a good question. Who would I like to do a duet with? Um, for anyone, ever? I mean, Ed Sheeran would be pretty amazing. So, you know, if we could get him in to do Shape of You together. I did actually meet Ed Sheeran um, backstage at one of his, his gigs. I was invited along when I did the parody and he's such a nice guy. And he'd actually heard of me and he'd heard the song and thought it was cool. So that would be pretty awesome. I mean, he's like probably the most famous guy out there right now. So I'm aiming high, you know. So um, when I did Return of the Plaque, um, I received a message from Mark Morrison. So that was pretty cool. I think it was his management actually. They said, yeah, we like the song, Mark's heard it, he thinks it's cool. Um, my recent one, Man's Got Floss, which was a parody of Man's Not Hot. Um, I know that Michael Dapper has heard it and he thought it was pretty cool. So that's good. Um, I never heard from Justin Bieber, unfortunately, or Louis Fonsi, you know, but they're again pretty huge. But yeah, Ed Sheeran's got to be the biggest one. And actually to meet him and hear he liked the track, I, I was blown away, like literally I couldn't believe it. Well, music is such a massive part of my life. So, the, you know, music and dentistry are like two of the biggest things. And for me to have been able to find a way to combine them is, is crazy. But music's always on. So in the surgery, it's on. Um, in my car, it's on. Always in the house, it's playing. So it's very easy for me to kind of be in tune with what's happening in the charts and things. So I'm just always waiting. I parody everything in my head and then see if it works. So, like for example, Return of the Plaque literally took like 30 seconds to write. No word of lie, just wrote itself. The hardest one was Despacito, because I don't speak Spanish. So I got my Spanish friend to just give me loads of words and I tried to make them work. So that was, but yeah, that took about a day to write. But no, usually very quickly. Yeah, so the whole like being an influencer thing is, it, it, I mean, there aren't many dental, <laughs> dental kind of influencers out there. So yeah, we've had lots of, opportunities and lots of things come my way but again I have to really believe in the product so I never I didn't want singing dentist to become like a thing where you know people just give you this and chuck some money and you endorse it so there's certain things I just don't believe work very well and I just wouldn't I wouldn't do that because my integrity and ultimately I'm still a professional dentist so everything we've done up until now has been organic and it's been stuff I've believed in so yeah the offers have been there but we, we're just kind of holding off yeah, no, I've had such amazing support from the whole dental profession. Um, it is, I'm, I'm kind of doing something that's never really been done before. You know, the, the tradition, traditional thing is patients don't like the dentist, they don't really think we're nice people or we, we don't have a good reputation much. So with what I'm doing, it's making it fun, it's making it more accessible. Um, and the dentists are appreciating. I get messages all the time from my colleagues saying, dude, you know, people are talking about dentistry in a positive way now. I've done quite a bit of media work and it's always education and you know, patient awareness. So yeah, touch wood, the support's been great. I do have my own original single coming out. It's called Smile. So that should be good fun. I'm not going to give you a burst just yet. 
but it's it should be really good. I mean, the, the tune's pretty much done. I'm um, hopefully doing a video for it soon, but that's an exclusive. I'll, I'll give you guys, you know, maybe we can send it and do a little. Hmm? <laughs>